what we've got here at Highland Golf Links is we've got three world-class golf courses, each world-renowned. They've hosted various tournaments, various big championships that are world-class, and all of them have got a sea view as well. It's been going three years now and it's something we've tried to grow over the few years. It started off quite small, we had about 24 teams and we've suddenly blossomed into it where we've got 50 teams today taking part which equates to 200 golfers. We're starting to go into shoulder months of the, the golfing season, although you wouldn't think out there with the weather. And to have 200 golfers compete in a three day event at this time of the year in this part of the world is fantastic and it just keeps our season and the longevity going a little bit. And also, it's a great way of us marketing the area and actually physically showcasing the three golf courses that we have in this neck of the woods. We've obviously got an awful lot more golf courses, but the three concerned with Highland Golf Links, it just it ticks a lot of boxes. I've always known about these fine golf courses up here, Nairn, Castle Stewart and Royal Donner. They're great golf courses. Seaside Links at its best, in beautiful condition. And it's a good test in the wind. I mean. The, good, it, the test was too much for me today in the wind. I mean, it was pretty windy out there, but that's what we want. It wasn't too windy. It's a different form of golf, seaside golf. Some people haven't, ha, didn't really know we have such great golf courses. You think golf maybe stops at St Andrews or on the west course at Troon and Turnbury. But you know, th this, these three courses uh, have attracted support from all over the country into this program, and I think it's great. I do know that uh, Guy Shoesmith from West Hill down in the Berkshire, he's brought a team up here. He's heard so much about it and he, he and his team have enjoyed it very much and they look forward to coming back next year. So it's really golf at its best up here and uh, it's, the, the weather's been glorious so we, we couldn't be, it couldn't be better. It was very challenging today. The wind was, wind was high uh, but the golf course was lovely, beautiful course. I played Castle Stewart yesterday, it was fantastic condition. I think uh, Earl Donner here was in really good condition. The greens were just unbelievably true. It was calm yesterday. You know, you, you could be playing in the middle of summertime here right now, so it's a, it's a great destination to come. And being from the northeast myself, I just, you know, I think it's a fantastic place to live. You know, the weather's been brilliant the last uh, three years this tournament's been on. Uh, through September and October, so it's just, uh, it's just a great place to play Lynx golf, makes it playable all year round. That course is magnificent, yeah, really, really good. Uh, just, it was just got tougher when the wind got up in particular. Fantastic golf course. We kind of beat weather like this. It's 1st of October, isn't it, today? We've got seven different partners within Highland Golf Links. They're trying to promote golf, raise awareness of golf, and they're investing continually in golf and the golfers that are coming into the area. We've invested millions of pounds in over the last three years, continually trying to improve the product, and in return, that improves the visitor's experience to this neck of the woods. We've also got Inverness, which is a very vibrant city. It's much improved over the recent years. Lots of things to see, things to do, lovely restaurants that are also world class. We've also got ease of access. Many folk, as I say, think it's kind of difficult to get to Highlands, but it's not. It's pretty straightforward. We're five minutes from Inverness Airport, and it's a great little hub. It's improving all the time with various connecting flights. So all in all, it makes for a wonderful golfing destination.